Hello, uh, we're going to try a problem uh, still on Newton's laws of motion and still on a level surface. You can see I kind of drew an extra free body diagram down here. Um, but in this case, the force being applied is at an angle. And I'll show you what uh, above or below the horizontal means. Now, I crossed out a certain part there because I actually made the problem a bit more complicated. Um, it's actually, and uh, we'll save that for another time. Okay, now in this case, uh, the force being applied at an angle is very reasonable for someone like pushing down an angle like that, pushing a crate across uh, a frictionless floor, a uh, relatively frictionless floor. Um, if there was friction on here, it actually would increase it. Um, you notice that the normal force, take note, is actually longer than the weight or the negative mg. And that's because you're pushing down. And I'll show you that uh, mathematically as well. When we say uh, a force of 200 newtons directed below the horizontal, well, this is your horizontal right here. And if it's below the horizontal, um, this is our applied force okay and so it's just below the horizontal like that so this force right here is going to have a fx component and it's going to have a an fy okay and it's actually a negative fy because it's in quadrant four. And since the angle is right here, Fx is actually going to be F, uh, since adjacent to the angle is cosine of the theta, and Fy, the magnitude of Fy is going to be F applied sine, since this Fy right here is the same thing as this one over here these two are, are the same okay cool let's see what else we're given we're given the mass in kilograms we're given the applied force and that's actually 200 newtons with two sig figs even the angle as well and our goal is to find the magnitude of the normal force. Okay, this is actually a force. And um, our formulas in this case, just one, um, you could have used in the X motion if you're concerned about the acceleration of the x, which we're going to do in another time, uh, but not right now. All we need is this formula right here because it is not accelerating in the y. No vertical acceleration or even movement for, for that matter. And so we're actually ready to solve this, believe it or not. This is actually a, a relatively simple problem. Try to be careful when saying things are too easy. Because things are relatively easy. Or relatively hard. So using the equation essentially new for uh, static equilibrium, they're all equal to zero. But take note, I actually have three forces going on here. I have the normal force going up, the weight going down, which is not equal to the normal force, and they also have another component, the negative Fy. So I have the normal force going up, minus mg going down, and another Fy there. But this Fy, Fyi, uh, is actually F applied sine of theta and so if I
add both sides with this. Actually, just moving that to the next side. I get a formula that says that the normal force it almost solves for for us. I'm going to just leave the magnitudes now. And I just want to pause here for a second. They uh, normally what you would see is just this on a level surface that the normal force and magnitude is equal to the weight. But what? Look at this. We're actually adding a second term. So what does that mean? It's that we're adding more. Okay, so we expect the answer to be greater than the weight. So the weight is actually 25 kilograms. Times the 200 newtons, but just a fraction of that. I cannot recall sine of 20 off my head. Um, the weight, 245 uh, kilogram. Remember that kilograms and meters per second will result in a unit called newtons. Uh, one newton is equal to one kilogram meters per second squared. Okay. Plus approximately 68.4 newtons. So that's the added term there, giving us a normal force of about 300 newtons. But since our significant figures were two, the viable answer is 310 newtons or 3.1 times 10 to the positive 2 newtons. And take note this is the magnitude of the normal force. Okay, now this doesn't have much weight <laughs> uh, to it if it is a frictionless surface, but remember if the normal force is bigger and that there is friction, that means you're always, by pushing down like this, you're actually increasing the friction. So in my opinion, this is not a very efficient way of pushing down, of moving one crate from one part to another. Okay, you're best off just pushing straight on or actually pushing up at an angle. Okay, you reduce the friction that way. In this case, there's no friction, so this is our answer. Okay.